Hey everybody, Yogurt here, excited because I have more Horizon Forbidden West content for you. Three clips that were released yesterday, I can't wait to show them to you and give you some analysis and my thoughts. And without further delay, let's get into it, shall we? In the first video here, we can see Aloy walking through a settlement. The name of the settlement's Plainsong, and it's home to the Utaru tribe. And they live in, actually, their old world abandoned radar dishes. Now, they're thatched canopies, as you can see her walking through here, but I thought it was really cool that they had them building their homes out of old world radar dishes. When I was first watching it, I thought they were treetop houses, some sort of treehouse village. Think Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. No, it's actually a series of old world radar dishes. But I really like the detail. It's a really, really different type of setting from either the Nora habitations in Horizon Zero Dawn or the Karja habitations in Horizon Zero Dawn and definitely different from the frozen Banuk lands. Also you can see she's wearing a green outfit which seems similar to those of the tribespeople around whom she's walking. I'm guessing this would be the Utaru armor. Very very cool looking and definitely like that we can get a glimpse of their city and their armor. Very cool. We've also got some crazy detail here both on the outfit and on Aloy's gear. Like look at her bow, you can see just the feathers on her arrow. Just tons of detail not only the, on her but also on the settlement. It's really really cool and this is even on a PS4 Pro, it's not even on the PS5 like a lot of the footage we've seen so far. Here we can see Aloy running through the forest, planting here a blast trap, which look at the crazy detail on that. She's coming up against an enemy called the Clamber Jaws, which as you can see use fire. They appear to be primate-like, super agile, dangerously so, and they also appear to be susceptible to freeze since the player is using freeze arrows on them. We also have the old familiar triple shot, although here we have something entirely new as you can see. Looks like we're charging or maybe adding elemental attack, something like that to our spear attack. I do know they wanted to improve melee combat within the game, make it more viable. I mean, I always found it pretty effective, but it was fairly lackluster. There were a couple of different moves you could do, so it looks like they're really trying to add to that here with this. I don't know what it's called. I doubt it's called a blast spear, but that's what it reminds me of anyway. I don't know if she's charging the spear here for an attack or adding elemental damage to it for an attack or both. Obviously it kicks off some combo looking attack. Definitely really cool looking and can't wait to see it though. Also we can clearly see this is a different outfit from the last one. This one's purple. So far definitely my favorite looking one of all of the ones we've seen minus the headdress but I don't tend to like headdresses on characters in any game so that's not really relevant to take that with a grain of salt, but yeah, I definitely love the detail we can see on this purple outfit, and uh, I'm wondering which tribe this outfit belongs to, because it is super cool, and uh, I kind of want it for my Aloy. Here we have Aloy running up in another distinctively different outfit. I'm wondering if this is yet another tribe or not. But she's running up to, these are the bristlebacks that we were shown in the last video. I thought they were chargers or broadheads at first, but they're not, they're bristlebacks. And as you can see, Aloy just used the pole caster there and the shield wing in a combo to kind of launch herself into the air and then come back down to the earth and attack the bristleback in a combo attack, which was really super cool, honestly, and I can't wait to use both of those in tandem. We then see Aloy ride off into the sunset, so to speak, on a machine that I have not yet identified. I cannot wait to see more of this. Hopefully they keep giving us more of these teasers and more information as the game gets close. And I cannot wait for February 18th because that is the day that we can get the game and start playing it. And I will be streaming it right then. So uh, stay tuned for more. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you next time.